Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today I have some great news to be sharing with you. The latest T-Rex Miner 0.25.12 has been formally released on GitHub. And now I can download it right within Windows or into Linux and pulled into Hive OS. And the best part is, is I'm going to be testing all six of my different LHR card models in Hive OS, Windows, as well as NiceHash and sharing my best overclock settings, even breaking some new records today. But I don't want to spoil this video for you. At the very end of the video, I'm going to be doing a full comparison of the latest T-Rex versus G minor and LOL minor. So I have a lot to cover here today. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to press down on that subscribe button so you're notified of any future video updates. Stick with me and let's get started. Looking over at the GitHub site, we see T-Rex 0.25.12 has now been formally released on GitHub on the T-Rex site and it lists improved LHR unlock functionality, as well as expect about 78 to 79% in normal mode and 75% in low power mode. But they've also made a change here and they changed the default value of the order tune mode parameter to tune down. So I don't know why they did that. I really wish they would have given more guidance for it because I'm used to once cards are running well, if they can tune up a little bit and give me a higher hash rate, I want the opportunity to be able to do that. But for whatever reason, they've chose to set it to down only. I'm going to probably override it for my detesting and set it to full. So if my cards are able to run high, of course, I want to give them the opportunity to improve themselves and run a little bit better. There's some bug fixes too on memory. And they say, make sure that you remove your LHR tune settings you may have in your existing minor configuration. So now the way the new minor works is it starts up and it tries to configure. It. So they're saying, do not specify your LHR tuning. We will do it for you. And it's going to try to test your car to see the threshold of how much I can mine and how aggressively I can mine. And it's going to assign that LHR value for you. So do not try to set LHR tune values is their guidance for it going forward. Wait till calibration will take care of it on its own. And they also recommend some drivers here. So it says for Linux, use 470.xx or newer. And for Windows, use 512.xx, although 472.xx works fine too. And it gives a few tips that will improve your experience with frequent LHR locks. It says make sure you do not have any monitors connected to your LHR cards, or at least turn them off when the mining starts to let it calibrate correctly. Avoid using RDP if it puts load on your LHR card. So you want to not be running your monitors, not be running your computer with any ancillary hardware. You want to be able to run your graphic cards without any load on them, or at least minimal. So it can hopefully get the ideal calibration so you can get your highest hash rate out of it. It also says, do not delay applying overclocks. This will mess up calibration results and the miner will display unrealistically high LHR tune values. Lastly, it says, try reducing memory overclocks of the GPUs that frequently trip LHRs. So I guess if you go too aggressively on the memory overclocks and you see a lot of LHR locks hitting, then try just dialing your memory overclocks back a little bit. And beyond that, there's just your typical assets. So it's listing the tar files for Linux as well as zip files for Windows. So depending upon which environment you plan to use, it's just download the appropriate version and set it up and just start using T-Rex 25.12. When I started running the T-Rex Miner within Hive OS, I noted that the auto-tune mode is set to down only, as they've stated even on their GitHub site. I personally like to change this, so I'm going to be setting the auto-tune mode to full. And this way, when the card is running and is very stable, uh, it'll hopefully be able to get a higher hash rate. And in my off-camera testing, I've been able to find that I've been able to, a lot of times, even get up to like another one or even a half of a percent higher on my LHR values by doing this. And it's pretty easy to do and set this in Hive OS as well as Windows just by adjusting the LHR auto-tune mode parameter. Let me show you how. So within Hive OS, I open up my flight sheet and I click Setup Minor Config. On the very bottom, there's these extra config arguments here. So this is where I can normally specify my LHR auto-tuning, the size, the interval, and the setup. So I'm going to put these three values in here, LHR auto-tune mode full, LHR auto-tune step size of one and LHR auto-tune interval of five. And this will mean that it'll 
be very granular. If it can auto tune up, it will try to dial up and it'll increase that LHR value by 0.01 and it'll try to do it every five minutes. And that's all I had to do. And then once I apply it, apply to all workers, restart the miner and it should be all set to go. I restarted the miner and you'll notice now that there is a less than and a greater than symbol on either side of the LHR parameter. And this to me would imply that the miner now can not only dial down if it hits LHR lock, but if it's running great and stable, it can try to increase that LHR value beyond what it initially found in the calibration, giving me higher hash rate for my LHR cars, which means higher mining revenue overall. Hopefully this tip helps you get higher hash rates out of your LHR cards. Before I begin my testing, let me give you a quick overview of my screen layout. Off to my side is going to be a T-Rex miner session, and it's been running for over an hour, and I have over 500 accepted shares, so I feel my rig is running very stable, and the results are very consistent at this point. Behind me is going to be my Hive OS overclock settings for the lock core clock, the memory clock offset, as well as the fan. I'm using NVIDIA driver 470.103.01. This is what's giving me great results. Now throughout the test too, if you're testing your cards, if you see your cards are running a little warm or a little hot, you may want to dial back the memory overclock or even increase your fan depending upon your situation and environment. At the very top is going to be my window settings. These are the overclock settings I would be passing into a T-Rex minor batch file or even passing them into the extra launch parameters within NiceHash using the T-Rex minor plugin adapter. With that all said, let's get into our testing. The first card I'm going to be testing is an RTX 3060. This is the V2 cards. I have an MSI Gaming X Trio as well as an EVGA, a 3060 XC card. And these cards gave me great results on these miners in HiveOS and Windows. I was using a locked core clock of 1575 and a memory clock offset of plus 2600 in Hive and plus 1300 in Windows. And this card gave me great results. I had 39.3 mega hash with a 0.363 efficiency. The next card I tested is my RTX 3060 Ti. This is my Zotac card with Hynix 1 memory, and I can't overclock it too high. I can't go beyond 1025 in Windows and 2050 on my memory overclock setting in Hive. And using a locked core clock of 1380, I got fantastic results with this card. For the first time, I was actually able to get 47.8 average mega hash on this card with a 0.351 efficiency. The next card I'm testing is my EVGA RTX 3070 light hash rate card. And it has great cooling with the triple fans. Using a locked core clock of 1110 and a memory clock offset of 2700 in Hive as well as 1350 in Windows, I got my best results ever with this card. 49.7 mega hash with a 0.464 efficiency. The next card I tested is my 3070 Ti's. I have three of them in this rig. I have the EVGA cards as well as a Founders Edition card using a locked core clock of 975, a memory clock offset of 2800 in Hive, 1400 in Windows. I got my best results ever on this card. 64.5 mega hash with a 0.364 efficiency. The next card I tested is my RTX 3080. This is my EVGA, my XC3 card, and it's got triple fans, but it was actually running a little bit hotter today. I don't know if it's because the aggressiveness of the new LHR mechanism. Using a locked core clock of 1310 and a memory clock offset of 2800 in Hive or 1400 in Windows, I got my highest results ever with this card. I got 80.1 mega hash consistent with a 0.347 efficiency. The last card I'm testing is my EVGA, my RTX 3080 Ti card. This is a further wind card with the beautiful RGB on the shroud. And this card's given me epic numbers in the past. And today is no different, consistently hitting that high 90s threshold, even more. I'm seeing using a locked core clock of 1440 and a memory clock offset of 3000 in Hive and plus 1500 in Windows. I got my highest hash rates ever with this card so far. I was able to achieve 99.2 mega hash on average with a 0.369 efficiency. Now, I know this card has definitely been an uh, overachiever in the past, so I decided it would be a great opportunity to see if I could push it even further. So let me jump into that test really quick and see how far I can push my 3080 Ti card. I wanted to see if I could push my 3080 Ti a little bit more, considering my thermals were holding up very good on the memory. And so I decided in Hive, I boosted the memory to plus 3400, which would be plus 1700 in Windows. I don't normally run my cars this harsh, but I want to see, wow, I did it 100.25 mega hash. 
for the first time I've ever seen on this card. This is fantastic and I'm holding it at 92 degrees Celsius. Really good efficiency of 365, but 100.25 megahertz. Woohoo! We punched through that ceiling and it seems like the sky is the limit now with these new miners. Now that we can mine higher hash rates on them, I think we're going to have to definitely keep a better eye out on our temperatures because similar to full hash rate cars, they tend to run a lot hotter. Now we're utilizing the card even more, but just getting these results is epic. Seeing 100 mega hash from an RTX 3080 Ti card. This is just such a difference. The landscape has totally changed. This new T-Rex miner is an absolute game changer. And I really wanted to share this with you. So let me dial my card back and let's get into looking at some summary result numbers as well as some comparisons with the other miners. Wow, breaking that 100 mega hash boundary for the first time with a LHR card. This marks a day in mining I'm definitely going to remember for quite a while. And my overall mining results were fantastic. I got my highest hash rates ever I've seen on any of my LHR cards. My 3060 V2 gave me 39.3 mega hash. My 3060 Ti with Hynix memory V1 nevertheless still gave me 47.8 mega hash. My 3070 LHR card gave me 49.7 mega hash with a 0.464 efficiency. My 3070 Ti's, I have the EVGA as well as the Founders Edition cards, they did fantastic with 64.5 mega hash. My 3080 LHR card, my EVGA card that's on the lower port of my mining rig, I may have to move it because it was running a little hot or maybe I'll even have to do thermals, I'm not sure yet. Still, it gave me 80.1 mega hash. And my 3080 Ti, of course, rounding it off with 99.2 mega hash with a 0.369 efficiency, which is fantastic. This is definitely a big step forward on the T-Rex miner's part. If I want to get a comparison of how it do against the previous version of T-Rex miner, well, I recently tested it, so let's compare it. And looking at T-Rex 25.12 versus the previous version, 25.9, I can definitely see this as notable improvement there. And if I total up the hash rates between all six of my different LHR card models, there's about a 6.5% improvement on the latest version of 25.12 compared to 25.9. 6.5% to me, that's a huge number. That's a really, really big difference. So although T-Rex has been very focused on a lot of dual mining, but it's been my go-to miner for Windows as well as Hive OS, especially because of its ease and ability to do a lot of the overclocking in Windows and even in NiceHash. If you've been following videos on my channel, I do a lot of NiceHash mining using the T-Rex mining plugin adapter. This gave me great results. And how does it compare against some of the other miners? Like recently, we've seen some great updates from G Miner as well as the LOL Miner. Well, let's take a look. So comparing all three miners now, the numbers are here. You can see T-Rex 2512 versus LOL Miner 1.48 and G Miner 2.90. All very respectable miners. All of them have a lot of notable features. But when it comes to NVIDIA mining of LHR cards, T-Rex definitely has the advantage. It came through with the highest hash rates and some of the best efficiencies overall that I've ever seen on my LHR cards. This seems to be just a new day. The LOL Miner has been doing a great job and some huge improvements with their new scheme in Windows as well as Hive. But T-Rex at this time definitely has the edge. So two thumbs up to the T-Rex Miner development team for kind of pushing the envelope a little bit further and giving us the highest hash rates I've ever seen so far out of these miners. I must admit, I'm really loving this new version of the T-Rex Miner 25.12, especially now that it's available as a native download on GitHub. I'm able to get higher hash rates on all my LHR cards. Recently, we've seen some great improvements with the other miners, but wow, T-Rex just, once again, they just took it one step further and giving me the highest hash rates. I was honestly looking at these miners going, what, what? A lot of aha moments. Are you as shocked as I am at some of these hash rates I was able to achieve? I didn't think a few weeks ago I was able to punch through that 100 mega hash boundary on a 3080 Ti card. But as you just seen a few minutes ago in the video, it's clearly possible and we did it. So I guess never say never. Who knows what the future is, but it's looking very optimistic for us. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it gives you some guidance on how you can get improved mining and better hash rates out of your LHR cards. If it does, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, like, and press down on that subscribe button so you're notified of future video updates. I welcome all your questions and comments, so put them down below. Till next time, stay safe. See you on the next video. Happy mining!